Rafa, we could just look at your season uh, so far. Um, you've been so consistent, you know, not quite getting the titles, but how happy have you been with your form? And also, you must have been just itching for the clay court season to start. Oh, well, play is, a, is an important surface for me, no? but you know, it's always the same. No? You play well, you have more chances, you play not that well, uh, probably no chances. No? And during the yeah, season, I've been a very oh, positive yeah. start, playing very solid, uh, three finals already. I was close to, to win, uh, especially the first one. But in general, I'm very happy the way that I'm playing and enjoying the Tour again. Let's talk about you in Monte Carlo, because it's a pretty special relationship over the years. What, what is it that you love about, about this event and, and this place? Everything. No? I, no, you see the weather, the views, uh, everything is great. No? I, I have uh, always uh, a great feeling since the first time that I have been here in 2003, so I enjoy it every single year. And I hope this year again uh, I am enjoying this uh, previous days of the tournament. Having fun, practicing well, and trying to walk around this beautiful place. Going for title number 10, um, that's an incredible achievement for you to pull that off. I wonder if you could just talk about a couple of memories from those previous nine titles here, and any that stand out for you, any particular years, any particular moments? I don't know, no, difficult to, <laughs> to remember one in particular, no, but it's obvious that the first one had been so special for me. It was the first Master 1000 for me. and. Uh, Winning against a big player like uh, Coria, I remember that semi-finals against Richard uh, Gasquet too, it was so close. So just uh, the first one probably have been uh, one of the most special. And also there's a, you know, there's a lot of records in, in tennis, but also you know, going for your 50th career title on clay. Did you ever think you know, when you won your first one in Sopa all those years ago that you'd one day be aiming for number 50? <laughs> Well, I don't know, it was a long time ago, I never thought about that. No, uh, for me, winning support that, that year was so important because I was coming back after an injury and it was a tough year for me. And yeah, but when I started playing there, I never thought that something like this could happen.